You big nonce! Well, hello, big nonces. It's Dogbum here. That means it's Friday, and that means I've got another corker of a indie review for you. Um, it's another flash game, which means it's absolutely free, as most flash games are. Can't really think of a flash game that you pay for, um, except unless you pay for um, Farmville credits to build a little shed for your donkeys or whatever you do on Farmville. <laughs> I say that like I've never played it, but I have actually played it. Um, I might review it some point in the future. Um, but this week we're playing a game called Depict One, all one word, Depict One. And it's on board.com, I'll, I'll put a link below so you can click on it and play it after you've watched this review. Um, and it says here, click nothing to begin. So I'm guessing this thing here is nothing. Click. Uh, it says continue or restart, because I have played it a little bit earlier just to see what the game was like. So, continue or re restart. To pick one, do not press X and C. Um, so you do press X and C. He's after you. Please wait. Listen to me very carefully if you want to survive, says the chap. To move, press the arrow keys. Now, as you can see, I'm pressing the arrow keys right now. The squares in the background are spinning around. Um, but you actually, it's a trick. That bloke's tricking you. You've got to press C. C moves you right. X moves you left. Um, no, I'll, that's not the right way, he says. The beams of light will reset you. There must be another way out. Now, I, this is as far as I got earlier, and I looked about, and I could not see a way out. I went up here. Uh, took me to here. Use spacebar to jump. So, if I jump across there. Oh. Spacebar appears to kill ya. I think that chap at the top keeps lying to me, so I've got to find how to get up to the beam of light to escape. Um, I'm just pressing some buttons here, being on this, to try and find... Oh! Right, big nonsense. Turns out the J button lets you jump. That creature is trapped there forever. Ooh. Bit of music started there, big nonsense. A little bit loud for my likings. Not like you or I, we're free. I don't seem to be able to save it, big nonsense, so I'll move on. Free to do as we please. Kill the creature by jumping on it. I'm not going to jump on it. Because I think they're probably good. Hello, little creature. No. It killed me. Kill the creature by jumping... Okay, I will kill it this time, because it was a bit of a... Right. You can't actually kill the creature, so ignore the creature, big nonsense. Move on. But maybe the cage isn't so bad. I don't seem to be able to uh, be able to win this one, big nonsense. I'll uh, I'll move along. There's a creature down there. That was the exit stop. Oh, and then I got stuck, big nonsense, in the cage. Right, big nonsense. What I've worked out is the game's a bit weird. That chap at the top is, um, is just lying to me. He's telling me to stop. Um, which means I will continue. 
I've paused the game there just so I can hear myself speak. Volume down. Press. Unpause it. Hang on. Volume down. No big nonsense. I can hear myself speak now. I'll pause it again. I meant to jump, right? Jump across there. Oh. So if you go down the bottom of the level, you can go through the top of the level and topsy turvy levels. Like Mr. Topsy Turvy. Hurry up, you don't have a lot of time here. Time number 26. The graphics are all a bit. Oh, I hit a birdie rat. Looks a bit like a like a rabbit. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Eighteen, seventeen. There's a time limit on this one, big nonsense. Just gonna get out quickly. There they are. That's what he's saying there. We need those gems. No, we don't. Turns out that that chap's still lying to me. Who used to trust me? <coughs> Use the button to bridge the gap. Uh, little bridge over the spikes there, big nonsense. See, you can trust me. He's saying there. Oh, perfect. Use the spring to jump higher, little. Oh, fallen through to the rat there, big nuns. But I still managed to win. I wonder how that creature we saw earlier is doing. Hmm. Not all the buttons are good, big nuns. Just some of them drop blocks on your head, but... Or on the rat's heads. But I have got some crazy skills. This is impossible. So that you can't cross that pit of spikes. Turn back now. Stay where it's safe. Oh. Turns out those spikes are actually some kind of gem. <clears throat> Use the high jump boots. They've actually made me jump a lot less, big nonsense. The high jump boots. That's it, nothing more to see. Let's press escape to exit. Um bit of an anticlimactic end, big nonsense. I'm sorry about that, but um, if you'd like to play through the game, then uh, there's a link below so you can click on it and uh, and play through the game. A um, bit boring, a bit weird. The the chap kept telling me to do stuff, and I, I was I was doing it, but it was wrong. Um, so not a very good. Hang on. Seems I found a little bit of a. A hidden bit big nonsense. I warned you. I will no longer try to save you. Oh, this is not quite. Ah, are you sure about last big nonsense? It's actually made the game a lot more interesting. So big on this level's called K. So I'll press K and oh, you can fire a little. Th oh, those spikes are bullets. Right, big nonsense. It's a very indie game, which means um, which means it's very weird. Um, but I know some of you like those weird games. I, I certainly do. That's why I play indie games. So if you want to play a really weird game and find out what happens, I think I'm going to be playing this after the review's over. 
Um, then click on the link below, big nonsense, and, and play this game, because it's very interesting. Very interesting. The music, as always, is a little bit annoying, but you can turn it down by pressing the minus button. And maybe play your own tunes. I know, uh, I know Chainsaw's a bit partial to the BGs. He likes talking about the BGs on his reviews. Maybe that's your cup of tea as well. You could put a bit of the BGs on. He keeps mentioning the BGs. Can't kill those monsters though, big monsters. So I'll let you try the game, and uh, I'll see you next week. Seven and a half out of ten.